Before we begin today's beginner level lesson in Common Lisp, I'd like to tell you a story from my childhood. My father was a school principal. In 1981, maybe 82, but I think it was 81, the school was experimenting with the idea of giving kids an opportunity to play with computers. The computer, a Commodore VIC-20, arrived in the late spring for implementation in September. My dad brought it home to let me be the guinea pig over the summer. In the second week of July, my grandfather called my father, my father with a math challenge. My dad was a math whiz, but my grandfather had confidence that this one would stump him. He said, A farmer has bought 100 animals for $100. He bought cows, pigs, and chickens. If the cows are ten dollars, and the pigs are three dollars, and the chickens are fifty cents, how many of each animal did the farmer buy? My dad repeated the question twice into the phone to confirm the details. You think that over and get back to me said my grandfather. My dad was kind of annoyed <laughs> with the question and having to spend time on it. And I said, you know, I bet I could solve that problem with this computer. My dad said, go for it. Now I suck at math. I probably still do to this day. But I had a thought, a brute force approach that would work to solve this problem. And today, we're not going to solve this in VIC-20 basic like I did back then, but I will show you the simple solution I came up with in Common Lisp. So here we are using Tutorials Point Execute Lisp Online again, and the problem statement is right here in our comments. A farmer has bought 100 animals for $100, he has bought cows, pigs, and chickens. If the cows are $10, and the pigs are $3, and the chickens are 50 cents, how many of each animal did the farmer buy? First thing I'm going to do, I typed in all this in advance so you wouldn't have to wait for my typing. Get in here. I'm going to define some constants. I'm going to define the cow price, and the pig price, and the chicken price. I, you probably, you possibly haven't seen our last video, but def constant defines a constant value with a constant number. It can't change. Uh, you can't assign any other value to cow price, or pig price, or chicken price. There's probably a really intelligent mathematical way to do this. But if you remember my story, I said my problem was I was bad at math. So here's the brute force technique I used instead. I, I used a for loop in basic, but to use a do line with tube here, a, a loop, I mean, I think I said tube. Um, do times cows nine. Okay, why nine? I'm going to start a C lisp so that you can see this. There are only hundred dollars being spent here, and there are only hundred animals, all told. So the number of cows can only be at maximum eight. Oops. So in a do times loop, <clears throat> it cycles from zero 
up to 8 when you specify 9. So we're saying do this 9 times, but that doesn't mean it's starting at 1. It's starting at 0. Okay. So we do times cows 9. We do times pigs 30. We do times chickens 98 times. So the only reason we have 98 chickens, that goes up to 97, and there has to be two other animals, so I think it's a pretty safe number. Now, we get into some serious list. Stop there for a second. <clears throat> There's an if statement. It's a conditional. If the following conditions are true, it will do what I tell it to do. Otherwise, it'll do something else. I think we've covered... Uh, maybe we haven't covered if then yet. Probably we have. Okay. An and condition... In Lisp is a function. It can take a, an unlimited number of arguments. So the first condition we care about is this. The price for the animals is a hundred dollars. So evaluating this Lisp code, we go to the inner brackets first. We take the number of cows by the cow price the number of pigs by the pig price, the number of chickens by the chicken price. And then we add that list of results together. This is the end of the add here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a really, this shows the matching parenthesis. And you really want that in your editor, by the way. So if adding up the cows, pigs, and chickens prices equals 100, that's our first condition for a possibly correct answer. Let's keep going. Right on. Our second condition is that the number of cows, pigs, and chickens, so we add up the number of cows, pigs, and chickens with the add function, it has to be equal 100 as well, because he bought 100 animals. But believe it or not, we're not done yet, because there's another condition. It says here, he has bought cows, pigs, and chickens. So what that means is the number of cows must be greater than zero, the number of pigs must be greater than zero, and the number of chickens must be greater than zero. And so all of these conditions are a list of conditions supplied to the AND function. So if AND finds all of these conditions to be true, it will return a true to if. And then what happens? We just display the results on screen. We use our format function. T means format or format to the screen or print to the screen. We'll say cows and that's the number holder. It's gonna put the number right there of cows, the first argument. the number of pigs and the number of chickens. That's our whole program. I'm going to get out of CLISP down here. And now we'll execute our program. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up and it still compiles. Okay. 
So the farmer bought five cows, one pig, and 94 chickens. The end of the story. My grandfather was surprised and very disappointed when my dad called him back in 20 minutes with the answer. And it only took 20 minutes because I was a slow typist back then, you know, picking with two fingers. And the VIC-20 was a horribly slow computer. For a week, whatever I saw, my grandfather, he'd say, you're cheating. <laughs> but it was that experience, that ability to solve a person's problem with a computer, that sparked the interest that became my career for the past 27 years, and I'm hoping it's going to ride me at another 20 or so. So that was a simple common list program. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.